Hi, this is Paul up at the Monterey Field Office. My friend Lance down in Sacramento has sent me a file to a database. It's all zipped up. So uh, I need to unzip it and load it into our local uh, our local database so that we can do a few edits and check it against our, uh, our known ground truth. And the way we're going to do that is by using um, a command line utility that is built for uh, for moving the data. Uh, we're starting with a uh, file geodatabase. What we want to do is move it through the uh, Esri file geodatabase API over into a PostGIS database on our site, do some edits, and then when we're finished, move it back through the API into a new file geodatabase that I can ship back to Lance for him to distribute to other folks. And the way we've written our tools is as two command lines, a uh, FTDB to PostGIS and a PostGIS to FTDB. And those command lines are in fact very thin. They sit on top of an open source library called OGR. And to develop them, we've actually added a file geodatabase driver into OGR, which in turn uses the Esri file geodatabase API to do all the heavy lifting. So now that we've unzipped the uh, unzipped the zip file, we can run the FTDB to PostGIS command. Um, the input is the file and the output is a database connection string. So away we go. First thing it does is connect to the database, which is quite quick, uh, and then it has to read the metadata in the file geodatabase. And there's about 49 layers in this database, so it takes a little while to read it. But once it's done, it zips along pretty quickly, loading the layers. Uh, this is a full GTDS file, so it's got lots of layers. It's at relatively low scale, though, so most of the layers are empty. Um, we're going to be working with the transportation curves, that is to say linear features for transportation, mostly highways and roads, um, in this demonstration. So we go through population, storage, structure, transportation comes up next. So there's a few hundred features. We'll keep track of how many. Let's see, 311. I'll write that down so I remember it. Now that our data is loaded, we can move to an editing tool. I'm going to use the QGIS editing tool. And uh, this is an open source desktop GIS. And the first thing I'll do is connect to the PostGIS database so I can read the layers. Um, I've got a connection already set up here. So I'll connect to it. Shows me a list of, uh, of layers I've just loaded, including the transportation curves that we're going to work with. So I'll add those. Do a little bit of a stylistic change so we can see them slightly better. Make them uh, traditional road red and then add in a bit of context. Use a USGS ortho layer, a web map service, and add that to the system as well. And then we'll reorder a little bit so we can see and go down in. Now I want to check the alignment of the roads up in the airport. So we'll pop in there and have a look. And there's the airport. Now I'm going to uh, start editing my layer and get rid of this old country road, which I don't think makes a lot of sense anymore. Delete that one. And I think I also want to delete this other little stub because it's not so useful. And then Lance asked me to add any new important roads, so I'll add, a, I'll add this one in real quick. And uh, right here, boom, 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 boom. And we'll go out that far. Okay. And uh, and finally, I think I'm supposed to add the runway alignment, so I'll do that. Good. Okay, all done editing. I'll save my edits back into the database. So. Now I've altered the data. I deleted two of these country roads down here, and I added three roads: um, this new access road and the two um, and two airport runways. So that means I'm actually up net one. So we should see one more extra feature as we go into our database and dump. So now I want to go the other direction from the database back out to a file to database that I can ship off to Lance. And you'll notice the syntax is pretty much exactly the same, except the uh, the order from is reversed to file to database to PostGIS. We're going to write out to a new file though, up the version number by one, and away we go. 
writes out quite quickly. And when we're done, I'll zip it up and send it off to Lance so we can uh, send the changes off to the other workers.